We're talking now about the tropics. Typhoon Maricot. 20,000 have been evacuated in southeast China as it nears. The yeah, fishing boat was capsized off the coast of the southern island province of Hunan. Nine to ten fishermen aboard are missing. Here's more on that story. Typhoon Morikot is forcing villagers in the Philippines to climb to their roofs. And many are frantically rescuing babies and children from the flood waters the typhoon is bringing. At least three villages were completely underwater. In addition to the flooding, heavy rain is also causing mudslides. At least 12 people died after an earthen dike collapsed. Winds of Morikot were said to be 90 miles an hour as it neared the coast of Taiwan. Big waves crashed ashore in Taiwan ahead of the storm. Businesses and schools closed and airlines canceled all domestic flights departing from Taipei. Authorities called fishing boats back to shore to ride out the storm. Forecasters predict that Morikot could dump 40 to 50 inches of rain on the area, which could trigger even more mud and landslides. Meteorologists fear that a recent drought has made the ground very hard and less able to absorb the water. Let's uh, go to Taiwan right now. Joining us on the phone is James Reynolds from the city of uh, Kuowin. Uh, Mr. Reynolds, we appreciate you joining us. You're on the east coast of Taiwan. Obviously, we've got some wave action. We've had a lot of rain. What is? Uh, what do you see out your window right now? Well, um, uh, as we had, we actually got into the uh, the, uh, the storm a few hours ago, uh, which was quite an accomplishment given the uh, the, the wobbling motion it, it had before it uh, made landfall. Um, and uh, in the second half of the storm, has actually seen a lot of heavy rain, um, but not so much wind because uh, the winds are actually um, sheltered by the, the 12,000 foot mountains, which are found right in the middle of Taiwan. And what about the situation as far as road closures? We've uh, read some news reports from there about mudslides uh, north of uh, Taipei. I know you're not in Taipei, but what about the roads around where you are? Uh, well, the latest information I've heard is uh, the road north um, out of uh, Hualien, which links uh, Hualien basically to the, the north of the country, uh, is open at this time. Um, but um, I imagine by all other accounts, uh, roads uh, crossing the island, um, whenever a typhoon hits, these roads are always shut. Um, you know, they, they cling to cliff sides and they go up to very high altitudes, uh, so they're very prone to, to mudslides and rock falls. And I, I would assume most people are sitting tight, staying home, or do you see a lot of activity out in your neighborhood, in, in your town? Um, sorry, I couldn't quite hear you there. Can you repeat the question, please? Yeah, I just wanted to know what you see around the area. Most people just sitting tight and uh, just dealing with it, watching it rain and staying indoors uh, this afternoon. Yeah, I I exactly that. The Taiwanese are very used to, uh, to typhoons, so um, you know, normally just have a family gathering, stay at home. Um, and you also see quite a few people on the streets riding their scooters around. Uh, and unfortunately, we did see someone get um, hit by some flying debris today whilst they were out on their scooter, uh, where they might have uh, been better off staying at home. Well, we heard reports about uh, nine men missing because of their boat being capsized. Do you know anything about that? Uh, I haven't heard any reports yet. It's um, it's quite late here, uh, about four o'clock in the morning. Um, so I'm expecting um, come daybreak, uh, more reports will be coming in about the the situation um, uh, with fishing boats off Taiwan and also uh, the landslides, which have um, I assume have been taking place um, all over central Taiwan, given the enormous rain rates which have uh, have taken place. Hey, Mr. Reynolds, we appreciate you uh, updating us early, early tomorrow morning already in Taiwan from the east coast to the city of Kuawin. As far as the forecast goes, it will continue to weaken slowly, especially as it heads towards China. Right now, a Category 1 storm, 90 mile an hour winds, and it will be making a right turn over Taiwan into China near Wenzhou, making landfall in about two days, and the main offshoot in China will be rainfall. There is your forecast for Southeast Asia. Okay, well, stay with us. There is much more to come. We'll look out uh, toward the weekend. We're